Hello again, I'm Anthony Cusimano and this is Alex Restrepo and we're talking about the Veritas Enterprise Data Services platform, specifically looking at insights. And today, Alex is going to show us a look at Aptar. Correct. Uh, so Aptar is uh, actually a re recent addition to the Veritas family yeah. and it's coming in with uh, some really cool technology. And so, yeah, we wanted to take a look today. Um, you know, we'll come back to this screen right here to kind of sum up because this is kind of the dashboard you'll end up using. But to start off, let's take a look at some of the stuff that Aptar is capable of doing in terms of reporting. So starting off, let's go to the data protection dashboard. And what we're seeing here is, of course, reports regarding the success, uh, failures, warnings, all that kind of stuff, the regular activity day to day that you want to keep track of regarding data protection. Right. Um, so if you're familiar with Veritas, chances are you're familiar with Net Backup or Backup Exec uh, and reporting from various sources from that point of view. Uh, I think what's important to note here is that the, while those sources are available in here, you'll notice there's a number of other vendors that are also being reported here. I was just going to say, I noticed some friendly and non-friendly names. <laughs> sure, uh, depending on your perspective, uh, there, there's some non-friendly names on there. But importantly, I think everybody understands that we have very diverse ecosystems out there. Um, and you know, you're know, you going to have some vendors in there for niche cases. Sure. And you want to make sure that you're keeping an eye on your entire environment and not just part of your environment. And this actually does that from a true single pane of glass as opposed to individual single panes of glass, which end up being a pain in the butt. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, so that's the backup portion of it. But of course, Aptar does much more than just backup. And so just coming over here to the infrastructure side of things, you're going to see that we start to see some SAN, object storage, and NAS utilization as well. And importantly, you're going to see, once again, a number of different vendors. Um, all the big names are on here that you would be familiar with. And importantly, anything that really has CLI interface can kind of be customized. If there's an API tap, we can likely work with them. So there's a, any number of customization that can be added into here. But being able to get the same level of granularity you get from the individual point tools. So as an example, Pure Storage is going to have reporting for Pure Storage but they're not necessarily going to have reporting for EMC storage. Right. And we're capable of doing all of the above from one pane of glass. This is truly a dashboard for everything. That's accurate, yes. And it's not just storage and it's not just backup. If we're able to go into the inventory over here, you're going to see that we can actually start to take a look at cloud instances. So Azure, Amazon, uh, for sure, and, and, and others. And of course, virtualization, uh, very importantly. And it looks like the virtualization we have in here just went offline because there's no GPU <laughs> utilization. Earlier, we saw some activity on here. There was a heartbeat. But you definitely get a feel for what's going on with your virtual environment in terms of, again, all the basic statistics you want to keep track of. And so am I um, you know, hitting my cores too hard, uh, memory utilization, storage, importantly, do I need to allocate more storage? All of that can be done from here. And again, these tools are readily available from the individual vendors, right. but having one IT dashboard, because so many folks are asked to wear so many hats nowadays, that's what this is providing for you. I'm also noticing we've got status symbols in there. So this actually seems like a really cool way to be able to track any kind of errors, critical warnings, failures on all of our virtual infrastructure. That's correct. Yeah. Track and report and make sure you're covered, right? So we go back into reports. The last thing, you know, really to show before we get back into that multi-vendor dashboard right, right. is a little bit of chargeback. So, you know, can you think of any reason why we would care about chargeback? Uh, people generally like money. <laughs> sure, and nobody has enough of it, especially IT departments nowadays. Very true. And so, but yet, IT departments are constantly being tasked by legal, by marketing, by any number of folks with more and more um, activities and, and responsibilities and more infrastructure that need to be responsible for. Right. But the money's not coming, right? And so chargeback is a great way to guilt those folks into paying their fair share. Meaning, if, if you're utilizing X, Y, or Z amount of my uh, infrastructure, you know, it's important that we all chip in together. And in this way, these IT guys that are managing the environments that are having struggles finding the appropriate budget dollars are capable of doing so. That's very handy. It kind Absolutely. of brings all the departments together in a way. Yeah, and you'll notice that we're, we're giving you, you know, usage, we're giving you what's doing the usage, and of course, we're giving you a cost, very importantly. So the cost numbers themselves, where do we generate that from? Yeah, so the, the amount of money necessary to run a given unit of IT is going to be inputted by you, the IT manager. Okay. Right? And so from there, we would just extrapolate that based on multiplying the per unit uh, amount. And the reporting, of course, comes from all of the different vendors that we, we saw in the inventory. So the nice thing is different infrastructures, different costs, everything you know, can be combined into something that is applicable for them. Correct, and it's really across the, the entire landscape of the environment, up to and including cloud. That's awesome. Yeah, 
And so lastly, if we just go back to where we started in that multi-vendor dashboard, again, this happens to be a backup dashboard, but we have equivalent dashboards for a, a number of different infrastructure components, including everything we covered today. And so it just it gives you at a glance, um, you know, a little bit of job summaries, uh, largest backup by volume in this instance, job error codes, summary status, all of this is customizable. What matters to you on a day-to-day -day basis, that's what we can put in here and show you. This is super handy. Thank you so much for showing us, Alex. Yeah, thanks a lot for your time. Yeah.